is thinking from the end enough to manifest your specific person. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your manifestation coach. And in this video, we are going to talk about if affirming or thinking as if is actually enough to manifest the version of your specific person that you desire. But first, if you would like to get coached by me, I offer an online course, Manifest Your SP Mastery, where I show you step-by-step -step how to manifest your specific person. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you manifest anything your heart desires. And finally, I also offer monthly membership coaching. This is where you can get live weekly group coaching with me every single week to really stay on top of your manifestation game. Now you can get access to any of these offerings by simply clicking the link below in the description box. Okay, let's get back to this video. Is it enough to simply think as if you are the version of you that has your specific person in order to manifest the version of them that you want? Again, this video is really answering one of the questions that I got from you guys who basically said, look, Priya, if I burn for my specific person, and think from the end, is that actually enough to manifest the version of my specific person that I want? And I thought this was a great question. So the simple answer to this is yes. Thinking from the end is absolutely enough to manifest the version of your specific person that you desire. And here's why. You are never not manifesting. You are manifesting 24 seven, whether you're aware of it or not. Sometimes, you know, when people come into the manifestation world, it's like, how do I manifest? How do I manifest? But the truth is you're already manifesting. You don't need to learn how to manifest. How are you manifesting? Well, your thoughts create your reality. So every thought that you are thinking, your dominant thought patterns, your, your assumptions, your belief, that is what is being reflected back to you in your 3D reality. You've been doing this since the day that you were born, but most people don't realize that they are manifesting 24 seven that their thoughts, whether it's favorable or unfavorable, is always creating their experience, is always what is being manifested in their 3D reality. So you've always been manifesting, you actually don't need to learn how to manifest. But what you do wanna be mindful of and aware of is how to consciously manifest the things that you do want and that you do prefer. So when it comes to manifesting, you're not really learning how to manifest. You're just becoming conscious of the thoughts that you're thinking and you're beginning to think that certain thoughts on purpose and deliberately and intentionally because you understand that your thoughts create your reality, that your thought patterns are always being reflected back to you in your 3D reality by your specific person or by whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, whether that's money or dream job. So then the question becomes, okay, how do I manifest the version of my specific person that I desire? So let's say, for example, you want to manifest a version of your specific person that's affectionate. Let's say you're currently experiencing a version of them that's not affectionate. So first, let's shine some light on why is there a version of your specific person in your 3D reality that's not, not affectionate? Because remember, your previous thought patterns which most likely than not you are unconscious of, is why you're currently experiencing a version of your specific person that's unfavorable, that is not affectionate. Now, there could be two reasons why you're experiencing a version of your specific person that is not affectionate towards you. Number one is that you simply have a story about them that says, my specific person is never affectionate with me. It's just not who they are. They, they don't really like being affectionate. Or number two, it could be that you're somebody who has a low self-concept. So maybe you see yourself as somebody who is not worthy, somebody who is not lovable, and this is the identity you operate from. And so your specific person has to play the role of showing you that this is the way that you feel about yourself and the way that this is expressed to you in the 3D is by them behaving in a way that is unaffectionate towards you. So this kind of comes back to the only reason why your specific person is not being affectionate with you is because of your dominant thought patterns, meaning your unfavorable thought patterns, your unfavorable beliefs, and your unfavorable assumptions. Remember that your assumption is what you accept to be your truth. It's how you see yourself. So the key to then manifesting the version of your specific person that is affectionate with you is to simply change your thought patterns and begin to think as if 
you are the version of you that is experiencing a version of your specific person that is so affectionate with you. And how do you do this? Simply through affirmations. You simply curate some affirmations that imply your end. So oh, I love that my specific person is always showing me so much affection and love. And then you also want to curate affirmations for your self-concept. So it could look something like this. I am always perfect no matter what. You keep it really simple. So let's say you begin to saturate your subconscious mind with these new stories. Right? That me and my specific person are in a happy, committed relationship. My specific person is always showering me with affection. Um, I am always perfect exactly the way that I am. So you begin to saturate your subconscious mind with these new stories day in and day out so that these new stories become the dominant story within you. So you're replacing these new stories with the old stories that say my specific person is never affectionate with me. You want to stop describing them that way. You want to begin to describe them as my specific person is always affectionate with me. They are always showing me so much affection. I am always perfect exactly the way that I am. So when you do this so that this becomes the dominant story within you, your subconscious mind must produce proof of this to you in your 3D reality. This is when you will manifest the version of your specific person that is now affectionate with you, that is always sh showing you so much affection all day long. And what really happened there is that you simply selected a different version of your specific person from the quantum field that is already affectionate, that loves being affectionate with you. You're never changing the version of your specific person that isn't affectionate with you. You're simply leaving that version of them alone, which will always exist in a specific timeline. And you have simply, through affirmation, selected a new version of your specific person that loves actually being affectionate with you. That is actually their desire. You just aligned yourself with a different version of them. So when you are thinking as if, what you are doing there is that your new thought patterns literally are putting you in a new state of consciousness where you are now the version of you that expects your specific person to be affectionate with you. In other words, the way that you see yourself in relation to your specific person is of somebody who is always showered with affection, love, and adoration by your specific person. So all you did was change the way that you see yourself in relation to your specific person, and you change the way that you see yourself when it comes to love and relationships, that you have a really high self-concept, and that you know that you are always perfect no matter what. There is nobody else to change but self. And changing your thought patterns, thinking from the end, is more than enough to manifest the version of your specific person that you desire. To go into this on a deeper level, you are always manifesting. Before you knew about manifestation and about all these techniques and tools such as like visualizing, scripting, and all the things, you were happily manifesting simply through your thoughts. This was always happening whether you're aware of it or not. And so now all you're deciding to do is to become deliberate and intentional with your thoughts so you begin to think as if you're the version of you that has your specific person. So for me, affirmations, like changing thought patterns, isn't really a technique because your thoughts are always creating your reality, whether you realize it or not. You're just learning to consciously choose what it is that you focus on and what it, what it is that you give your attention to more of the time. Another thing that I wanna shine light on is you could be somebody that has the most amazing visualization session in the morning where you know, you're really seeing yourself uh, as somebody who is loved and adored by your specific person and you have a scene and you visualize this or you have like a 30 minute um, scripting session where you're writing about how you and your specific person are in a happy committed relationship and then you get up from that visualization session or from that scripting session and you move through your day and you're constantly bitching, complaining and whining about your specific person in your mind. You're having mental arguments with them or you're bitching, complaining and whining to your friends about your specific person. So when you do that, this, this cancels out all the work that you did earlier on, that visualization session that you did earlier on. And this is why tools and techniques are great, yes, to help you get into the state. But ultimately, if you have a shit mental diet, 
as you you are operating through your day meaning you are constantly thinking against you're constantly bringing up the old story or constantly complaining about your sp or having mental arguments with them in your head then you're not going to get your manifestation because your thoughts create your reality and if your dominant thought is that of you complaining and whining about your specific person you will continue to manifest a version of your specific person that you do not prefer and so this is why I actually think, in my opinion, that thinking as if you're the version of you that has your specific person is the most important thing. It's more important than any technique. Techniques are great, but outside of the techniques, you want to make sure that you keep a strong, clean mental diet where you are thinking as if you're the version of you that has your specific person. And so for me personally, when I'm manifesting, I just like to think as if because that's so easy for me to do to keep my thoughts in check and to self-correct any negative thoughts that oppose my end given that you're thinking 24 7 anyway so you may as well be thinking favorably and you may as well be thinking you're the version of you that has your specific person every time that topic comes to mind every time the thought of your specific person comes to mind you only want to be thinking as if you are the version of you that has your specific person you want to describe them the way that you prefer them to be so I hope this video has helped shine light on why thinking from the end or affirming for your specific person is absolutely enough to manifest a version of your specific person that you desire. And in my opinion, it is actually more important than any tools or techniques that you may use, such as visualizing or scripting, because ultimately you can use those tools, but Outside of using those tools as you are operating through your day, who are you being? Are you being the version of you that has your specific person because you're keeping a strong mental diet? Or are you being the version of you that doesn't have your specific person because you're bitching, whining and complaining and describing them as the old version? You want to be really mindful and conscious of this. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day or a beautiful evening. Mwah.